Thank you for joining me. This is the last and final game of the EU Finals for the Esports Network Tournament. It is BLG EU versus ESG EU, which is Eat Sleep Gaming European and then Borderland Gaming European. It's been a very long and arduous battle up until this point, and so now we're going to jump into this final game. Here we go. As you can see here, we are working on everybody's going to their respective positions. I got this. I'm not going to die from exhaustion. Yuli and Smek doing what they do, which is just kind of out, but they did pull out the... What is that? Oh, it's a spoo. <laughs> I was like, what is that? There's like some random thing on the ground. So there are three of them over here. I wasn't paying attention to the mini-map. I was like, is that like a cat following them? Uh-oh, are they going to catch out Yuli here? Oh, not being in the best position. He probably did not grab his one as his first spell, so if he gets caught, he could be very well be dead. Likely grab three, because that typically is what Odins do. Over here in the other side, we have the Cupid camping out. Uh-oh, of course, we switch sides. Crap. I'm going to... How much time do we have? Nope, game's starting right now. Because the pictures are on the wrong side. Damn it. Quick move. Whoa. Save us. And let's go. Dunk. Dunk. There. Now this should be on the correct side. Did I miss anything? No, nobody died. So it looks like they're going to be getting their blue buff over here. Odin and Vamana, they already got their health buff, and they're go or Odin and Agni right lane here against a Bastet, and who else is over there? It looks like, I think it was a Wukong. Y yes, Wukong. So we have a right lane with Odin, Agni versus a Bastet, and Wukong. Mid lane, we have a Ra. Lobster playing Ra versus Sayo playing Hell. And then in left lane, we have a... Rastarian playing Guan Yu, which is one of his favorites. Xyli playing Bakasura versus a Honey Badger playing, it looks like Vamana, very very blue Vamana, and a Young Bay playing Cupid. Whew. So as you can see here, not a whole lot, just basically trading the lane, doing their thing. Doing their thing. Was it shift one? Yes, good. Shift one. Uh, I guess I'll do it this way. We will save our positions here so I can actually keep track of what's going on. Shift one. Instead of having to jump quite like I was doing. Shift two. And it looks like Ra's pushing up pretty hard against Sayo here. Forcing him to lose some gold. But that's kind of what Ra's do early game. And then we're back this way. And shift three. So we can get one. Ristarian and Xyla here getting pushed back. But they're going to push their... Tower up, mid lane, everybody kind of normal, and finally right lane. Going on like normal. Not a whole lot of action yet. Everybody's kind of jockeying for position, seeing where everybody else can go. Whoa. Your middle tower is under attack. Sorry, I was just reading the chat of Alakite's spec mode request. Oh, what's going on here? We have a Cupid heart bomb going down. It looks like they might have been trying to shoot it on some people, but missing. How is Rastarian going to respond to this? Is he going to try and get that honey badger down a little lower? Yes, he's going to throw down those drums. That seems to be a rather short drum, but of course this is early in the game, so that skill is of course not leveled as much. Let's take a look at our items real fast. Lots of Spear of the Magus on BLG side. Sayo doing, it, doing his job mid lane over in right lane. What do we got going on? They got fire, or not fire creeps. We got the creeps pushed up pretty far. Take a look at our items again. Then, of course, reinforced boots for Odin and Bakasura with Fatalis. Everybody's favorite thing. Of course, we do have two Hand of the Gods, which seems to be the norm now. Cupid going with that Heartseeker. Wukong going with Warrior Tabby's reinforced boots. Heartseeker again. And then a Stone of Gaia for a Ra. Going for that HP MP5 to help him deal with that. Mid lane. I can't spectate the match. There are too many people spectating. Ha! Nice. Looks like Raga's back, so we're going to get a little free farming here for Sayo. 
why I just did that. I don't know. I can use my three. Yuli and Schmeck going to be pushing back their lanes here, respectively. High Rock and Spoo doing a good job. Agni throwing down an ult on Spoo, taking him down a couple bars of health. So that was a good ultimate by Spoo or Schmeck there. Is he going to throw another? Some pokage going on. Because they are now... Ooh, now everybody's level 5. Bastet and those kitties are going to be really dangerous. But they both have escapes, so they should be okay. The Odin can jump and the Agni can dash. Also leaving a blazing trail of death behind him. Over on in mid lane, we see that Lob Sayo is keeping Lobster at bay. And in the right lane, we got a little... Everybody's going for their buffs. BLG going for their buff. And, of course... ESG going for their health buff, and they will be getting that. Back over here in right lane, we can see that they're just kind of hanging back. Yuli level 6 now, so he's got a little bit of an advantage. They're trying to bait them in, possibly. Whew. But as we can see, not a whole lot is happening back in mid lane. Everybody's just kind of jockeying for the position of Ra laying down that beam and the heal. Sayo doing a good job of clearing that wave extremely fast. Lobster slowing him down some, but and blinding, but not doing a whole lot other than that. Over in left lane, they are trying their darndest to do a little death. Popping that off on those creeps. Xyli staying all right, taking down a, or woofing down a health pot to help him make sure he's okay. Honey Badger doing a lot of chasing. A lot of chasing as that Bamana. Oh, what is going on over here? We have a little bit of an engagement. Looks like they may have just kind of all been in the same area. Nobody died. Nothing got happened. It's like they were jockeying for a position yet again. Everybody loves to jockey. What is that Yuli doing? Is he thinking of jumping? Nope. Nope. Left tower is under attack. Let's have a look-see. There's just creeps getting pushed up there by that honey badger and young bay. But they are going to get pushed back. Are they going to jump on them now? Oh, they jump on Young Bay. Rastarian does, laying down some pain. Not quite getting where he wanted to go, but then throwing down a heels on his creeps to push those creep wave forward. Over in right lane, you can see here, that's mid lane, right lane. We can see here, they are just pushing it all up on Spoo, trying to get him as low as they can, but that health buff is not going to help. Laying down a wave to kill those creeps. Slowly but surely. Man, this is going to be a very, very tense match because they look very even. There's no deaths yet. And it is six minutes into the game, almost seven. Whew. Left lane. They are just going to back out now and go probably buy and stuff. Let's go back to right lane. Man. Check out their items, see what they've been building. Everybody's trying to finish off their Spear of the Magus, and then they're going for their Void Stone Reinforced Boots. Void Blade coming out for High Rocks. Wukong. San Wukong! Exactly. Mid lane, Sayo just kind of keeping it, keeping it real with uh, Lobster here. Dancing back and forth. What's going on over here? Oh, nothing a whole lot, nothing a whole lot. Not too much action. Everybody, goal difference is minuscule. Uh, the ESG is just slightly ahead by 500 gold. And it looks like Yuli and Schmeck here are going to contest this, uh, this ooh, attack damage buff, but they will not get it, and so they're forced to back out as she misses that claw bleed slow thing. Speed, speed, speed. Rastarian soloing this lane as Bakasura is coming back shortly. Slowing, a, slowing down Honey Badger and laying down the drums. Bakasura coming in shortly thereafter. Inevitably going to hit some things. Ooh, a little action going on here. What's going on in right lane? They're just kind of chilling under the tower. Si or Smek here all by himself waiting on that lane to get pushed up. But Spoo will go back. Bakasura going over here to get this blue buff as quickly as possible. Throwing down that true damage on that blue buff, eating it immediately. And is he going to use a hand of gods? No, he's just going to beat them up. Mid lane. 
Sayo and Lobster still going at it. Still going at it. Hmm. Don't want to be too repetitive. How can we make this a little more exciting? Let's check out their items again. Everybody trying to build as fast as they can. The gold difference is still only 500 ESGs in favor. No kills. There are the purification beads and heavenly agility for that Agni. So he's making sure that he can get out. Level difference is pretty much non-existent. Uh, Yuli's just a little bit under-leveled. That's about it. But he is going to get that back shortly. As it seems like he was back buying. What is going on left lane? We see that they're getting kind of close to each other. Nope, not a whole lot there either. Just kind of hanging out, hanging out. Nobody doing any big plays quite yet in the right lane. Odin roaming around. I'm unsure why he keeps roaming around. He's going to get this uh, health buff real quick. Using that three and hand of gods to take that real fast. Ooh, smack laying down some pain. Getting that ultimate off, poking and prodding. Spoo missing that that slow again, or bleed. <laughs> it's really annoying not seeing that thing land. Over and looks like they're jumping on Honey Badger. Is Boxer going to throw down his ultimate? No, he won't. Do not see if that was spent. I do not believe it was. We got creeps pushing in here, so will he eat a creep? And then will they jump on them is the question. Looks like Honey Badger is going to go see if that blue buff is up, and he will see that it is not. Where is Honey Badger going? Honey Badger just kind of hanging over there. Everybody else still just jockeying for position. This could be a pretty drawn out game, it seems. You want them to really squan you again? Honey Badger taking some damage there from Rastarian. Let's see how Honey Badger is handling this. Honey Badger has got a Void Blade for physical protection and power and physical and magical protection, but he doesn't really have a whole lot of, you know, tankiness built in. Over in right lane, not a lot happening. Mid lane, still the same. Left lane, we got a little bit more action, as it seems as they're actually trying to hit each other <laughs> and not just clear creeps. Why do I feel like I'm watching League of Legends for a little bit? I'm just kidding. This is so much better. Yeah, everybody's playing very passive and very cautious. Nobody wants to be the first death. I heard that ultimate go down from High Rock, but apparently it got accomplished not much. Over in left lane, they're going to take that uh, attack speed, attack damage buff for... Oh, oh, is he going to get it? There he goes. It's like he ate one of the other ones. But yep, they got that attack damage buff now. Attack buff. I'm going to be clearing some more creeps here. Everybody's playing super passive and super cautiously. And they themselves are going to go take this attack damage buff. So this is actually going to help BLG get a little bit ahead. Hopefully they can get the gold ahead. But it looks like they will pass it by because they see the Bastet going in. They're making the Bastet tank all of that damage. That was actually a rather interesting move. Oh, throwing down some pain on there. Uh, ultimate goes down by Spoo, hitting that, hitting that Yuli. But she did get the buff. No, yes, she did. Taking a lot of damage there. That was a very interesting tactic by them to go in there making Bastet jump in. And then soon, oh my god, I'm I'm all there. You know, they're all attacking me. And I'll just lay down a couple nukes as Smek and call it a day. Maybe steal the buff if I'm lucky. But definitely make you forced to go back. Looks like we may be coming over here for a gank in mid. No? We see Rastarian and Xylea coming. No, it looks like they're going to go back to their lane. But they, can they take advantage of this to help take down this tower a little bit more? See if we can get more damage on a tower. <laughs> Bastet trying to do what she can to push them back. Jumping in, trying to get some damage off on that Agni. Not doing a whole lot, but he will dash out. <clears throat> Typically, your best bet is to, is to uh, be the last one jumping. Yuli here in some trouble. He's going to jump out finally. That was really close. That ultimate. Oh, were they going to be able to get him? Yes, they did. ESG gets the first blood on on that Odin, a.k.a. Yuli, I believe. Yes. Not quite what they wanted to do, but it's still very early. That puts ESG up 1-0 in the kills. They are going to walk over here and not steal a buff because there is not one there. 
how is BLG going to respond to this? Now the buff comes up, and so they could have been there to take it, but not quite. Is Hyrout going back? Yeah, yeah. Yep, there he goes. He's going to take that buff as fast as he can, and he gets it in very short order. Going in left lane, we hear pain going down. Oh, can they get this Honey Badger? No, they're missing the, the Heart Bomb. There goes the ultimate. Oh, the damage goes down. They might be able to kill Honey Badger here. Ultimate from Cupid. Xylee jumping out of it. Oh, Rastarian, get away. Oh, there goes Rastarian gets killed, and Honey Badger runs away, getting that kill. That brings it 2-0 for ESG's favor. Not quite what Rastarian was thinking when they went into that engagement. Cupid trying to land the Heart Bomb, but missing and catching on a creep, and Bakasura making it out. What is going on mid lane? Whew. Yuli trying to come in there. Is he going to try and ult him? Are we going to see an ult from Ra? Yes, the ult from Ra. They are likely going to get this lobster because Odin is able to lay down a lot of pain along with that. Hell, can they get it though? No, they can't. Very good from Lobster there. He Does he have an Aegis? Is that what he popped there? Yes, he does. Ra has an Aegis, and that's what he popped in that ring to keep from getting killed. Very nice play. Over in right lane, it looks like Bastet's going to get that that buff. Yes, she will. And so now we're going to start gearing up for some Fire Giant action. Let's go see what goes on here near Fire Giant. Are they just going to go in there and totally take it? Nope, not quite yet. Everybody gathering up mid. Now we're going to start getting into the action here. Ladies and gentlemen, Hyrock dancing around with Yuli a little bit there. I need to bring up my microphone because my neck hurts from just going down. There we go. Let me sit up straight. That'll help. Cupid doing a little bit left. No, not much. Mid lane. Everybody's kind of going back to where they were going. Honey Badger taking a lot of damage from Guan Yu here. But it looks like Rastarian will back out. Will he? Mm, looks like the bait. Oh, what's going on? What's going on? Can Rastarian get out? Oh, Hyra coming in. That's not what you want to see. Ultimate going off. But Sayo coming in there. The ultimate turned on by Guan Yu. Can he lay out the damage fast enough? Oh, they turn around to try and engage. Oh, they take out High Rock And are they going to be able to get Honey Badger? That's the big question. Rastarian needs to get out of there. Oh, will that Baka be able to get Rastarian or Honey Badger? No. No, he will not. Coming back for some heals. So that does bring it 1-2 to two and BLG making a little bit of a comeback. 2K gold lead for ESG. And here we are right now. BLG doing what they do best, being slightly behind. Your right tower oh, my God. Our right tower is under attack. Bastet trying to do her work over there. Going to take down that tower immediately. So that is one tower down for BLG and one tower up for ESG. ESG, BLG, CLG, TLG, all sorts of LGs. It's really funny how that works out. Check mid lane here. We got Lobster a little bit overextended, I think. Trying to get that tower down, and he does. Yet another tower down for BLG. What are they going to do about it? What are they going to do, they say? We're going to go take Gold Harpy. Dink, there's the money train. I'm a little curious why it doesn't like it doesn't seem to automatically update it. Hmm. Everybody kind of breaking off into their various lanes. Lane, right lane here. Bastet might be able to jump on Schmeck here if he's not careful. He sees her though. He's gonna back out. Oh, man, my neck hurts a lot for some unknown reason. Check mid lane here. We have Monkey with Sayo kind of going at it. Sayo being level 16. That's quite an advantage there. Although, or now 17. A little bit over Lobster, who is 16. It seems as though BLG does have a slight level advantage, except for Yuli, who is a little underleveled. Nope, jumping back there. Not a whole lot of action right this minute. Are we going to be gearing up for Fire Giant again? Possibly. Maybe. Kind of. Uh-oh. Yuli going to get caught out here. He leaps. Will he be able to make it away? There goes the Odin ultimate. 
Look at that. Will, will he be able to get some support from that Sayo there? But no, Hyrock coming in from behind. And the ultimate from Ra will kill Yuli and the Odin mess all over the place. Hyrock getting out of there with just a little bit of health left. Not looking too good. Not looking too good. Hopefully we can bring it back. Bring it back. Step back a notch, take a deep breath, figure out where we are. They are now advanced their gold lead to 3k gold. Even though BLG did get the gold harpy. Whew, so much action. What's going on left lane here? Bakasura doing what he can to defend this tower. Getting a little free farm, and that's not too bad. Attacking faster than ever. Smek laying down, stopping Honey Badger from going back. Forcing that delay is just going to get more annoying. Drawing those minions into that fire wave. Throwing down an ult, cleaning up some more creeps, pushing that lane even farther. Nobody's paying attention to the right lane. As you can see here, we got some Guan Yu coming in. Versteria Mikey caught out of position here. Going into that jungle. And they are chasing him. How will this work out? Will they group up and try and fight this? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We do have all... Everybody is in the bottom left here except for Odin, who's just off on his own. Getting creeps and buffs, trying to just get up in levels. Guan Yu trying to lay down some hurt on them. Bakasura jumping out, not trying to get caught. Oh, left tower is destroyed. Looks like we are going to engage on Honey Badger here. Honey Badger throwing down his ult, and Rastarian gets the kill on Honey Badger, bringing it 2-3. to three. Will they be able to get Young Bay is the question. Oh, the ultimate does go down. It looks like they will be able to roast Honey Bay. He looks like he used an Aegis to stay alive there just a little bit longer. Oh, so much. It will ult. Mm, nope, not going to make it. Lands another ult, but doesn't quite get the kill. They're going to heal up and push down this tower, though. That is in their agenda. Will... Oh, nope. Not able to land a nuke on Young Bay. He will get out. And this tower will go down now, and it brings the tower lead a little bit closer. What are they going to do? Ooh, an engagement here. Looks like they're... They're going to have to back out quickly, because there are four ESG guys here. Hell, just kind of backing out from the middle. Everybody going to go back now and buy. Let's have a look-see at our items real quick. Bastet building for pure damage with a little bit of protection. That Heartseeker, if they can kill her, they can definitely do a lot of damage to theirs. We see no Heartseekers on the BLG side, and we see two Heartseekers on the ESG side. I am curious to see how this plays out in the future, because if they can kill... Neither one of these gone down, so they still they probably have full stacks by now. If they can get either one of them down, then that'll be a major turn. Because they will lose all of those stacks, and that could actually turn the tide of the whole game. I'm curious to see if that will happen at some point. Dun 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 not a whole lot, just taking creeps, ulting creeps, getting good money. Looking around, looking around. It's like everybody's gearing up for something. We're all kind of wandering in the jungle. Is Yuli, or is uh, Boxer here going to be able to do anything? Nope, not with Honey Badger. Are we going for another Gold Harpy? Gold Harpy's up, Fire Giant's up. Everybody's just kind of dancing. Taking their health buff over here in the jungle. It's like they can't decide on what they want to do. <clears throat> ESG setting up there. High Rock getting a little low on his health. Yuli chasing him, but he's not going to go after him because there are a couple more ESG guys there, so they will turn around and meet up with everybody else mid. Throwing down the slow mid lane there. Yep, it looks like we are going to go after this gold harpy. Xylea going to start it off, and they're going to take it down with a quickness, especially with that Odin. Attack speed buff. Listening to that Baka just dish, 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 knocking it down. BLG gets the gold harpy. And now they're going to group up. Still very healthy, except for Zylea there. It's just a little under health. But he kind of turns around and runs the wrong way. I'm not sure if that's what they intended. They're going to take out that, that ward. Throwing down some ults. 
not looking good here for BLG if they don't want to engage here. They are down one man because, and Yuli definitely doesn't want to be over there. Looks like they were thinking about going for Fire Giant. He's going to have to jump out. Honey Badger, oh, taking a lot of damage. This engagement. Honey Badger going to go down. The Odin Ultimate going down. Ooh, Honey Badger, there he goes. Who is on the next list for deaths? Odin looking not too healthy. He jumps away, and it looks like he will make it away. So they did manage to take out one on ESG, but Sayo goes down from that. All of that mess. Wasn't able to stay alive. They're going to take this out. Are they going to go straight to Fire Giant is the question. ESG looks like they're gear going right into it and turning right around. And they're going to go back. BLG going in there now. They see that they're going back, so they're definitely going to take advantage of this moment. Nope, they're going to go back too. I'm shocked that they didn't go after Fire Giant. Going to right lane, going to push this lane up some, try and get their advantage worked out. They are back to even in gold, only behind in one kill for BLG. Very intense game, 24 minutes in, and it's 3-4. to four. That's very intense. Lots of cautious play, trying to engage only when they absolutely have to. Looks like we're gearing up for this Fire Giant buff. ESG is all there. They are now going into it. Xylea sees that and is going to be calling and telling them that, look, guys... They're doing it now. They see that ward. They're going to take out that ward as fast as they can. BLG all moving on in there. Trying to see what happens here. Oh, High Rock getting a little out of position. I wasn't sure that was the smartest move. He does get out very easily, but BLG could have capitalized on that if they could have trapped him somehow or slowed him. Let's see how this goes. Young base sitting there. Oh, nope. It has in the dash away to make sure he doesn't get stunned. Oh, nice ultimate landing there. Blind ult. And the blind heal hurt. Oh, is that... They throw down a ward, but then they do immediately take it out. Oh, what's going on here in mid? Looks like we might have a fight. Dun, 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 dun. Everybody's just sitting there, dancing back and forth. Let's have a little dance party. Turn on some music. Turn the lights down low. Can they do anything about this? Monkey's over there getting some buffs. Are they going to try and trap him? But he... Oh, no. Sayo's going to go down very quick. He pops his Aegis to stay alive. And then Odin jumps in there, throws down his ultimate. Cupid's ultimate goes down. Everybody's ultimate going away and off. Yuli has slain Spoo. All sorts of death going on. It's so hard to keep up with all of the things going on in there. Man, ESG is really low. Four up for BLG right now. Can they take out Honey Badger? Rastarian looks like he's about to go down, but he does make it out alive. And it looks like they will back away and pray for the success that they have had. Oh, that almost getting Xylea there. Woo, what an intense match. That does tie it up five to five. The gold is almost dead even. BLG is slightly ahead with 500. Oh, so much. So much intense action. Yes, I see you there. Is Smek going to try and get that Honey Badger is the question. He's dancing around. It looks like they're trying to keep them busy whilst they do a Fire Giant. Are they calling everybody over there for Fire Giant? Bakasura, ooh, three ESG, four BLG. Oh, he does land the stun, but not going to capitalize it with a kill. They are just going to be happy with a Fire Giant. Not a whole lot that they're going to be able to do about that, particularly Guan Yu coming out to make sure everybody stays back. Will they be able to get the Fire Giant? It's just dancing around with it. It's not doing a whole lot right now in pains wise Hey, yes, BLG does get Fire Giant. They will capitalize on this, throwing down some Purification Beads. Oh, Spoo jumps in the Olden's Ultimate inadvertently. Not quite the best idea that they want to perform while everything's going on. Ooh, it looks like BLG's going to get... No, nope, nobody dies yet. BLG will make it out of there alive. That's just what they want to do. They want to save that. They want to save that as best they can for later. Go back, heal up, buy, and go in for a win is their best plan of action. What can ESG do to defend this is a big question. ESG is going to go over here and get this uh, gold harpy. Taking it down real quick. Whew. BLG now rolling up the center lane. 
going to start grouping up. Looks like they went over there to check that gold harpy scene that is gone. They will know what is going, what is up. Whew. Oh, Spoo gets hit, stunned, and killed by Smex Ultimate. Mid lane, Bastet down. Can they turn that around and take a Honey Badger? No, they're going to capitalize that by taking a tower. They are now up one kill to none. Can BLG pull this off? Oh my god, this is so exciting. Can they push it with this this fire giant buff? They really need to just drive it home, get it on, go in there, kill everybody they can. Tower diving like a boss. Oh, so much pain. They are really just itching to go into this tower, waiting for the next wave of creeps. Keeping them back as best they can. The heal the hurt beam coming out. Oh, this is so intense. Come on, guys. You can do it. You can do it. Here comes the monkey from behind as everybody is now up on... Nope, everybody's not. Spoo is still down there. Going to take that buff. Run in there. Go and take this tower down real fast. That gets them down to a phoenix. This is so intense. That monkey comes down and throws the ult from behind them and doesn't seem to really do anything. Not sure what... What happened there? There goes the Heavenly Agility. Where are they going right now in such a hurry? They're going to run and take down this tower real fast. It seems like right lane. Do it while the creeps are nearby. Making ESG have to really work for it. There they come. Are we going to get another... Ooh, that ultimate goes down, hitting them some. Taking down this tower as fast as they can. That attack speed buff, this tower will go down. ESG seems to have no counter for that Odin's attack speed buff. They can't even defend their own tower right now. This is not looking too good, especially since they wipe most of them. Those stacks are down on those heart seekers. That is probably making a huge difference because they did take out that best dead just a minute ago, so she has zero stacks on her heart seeker. And so they're going to capitalize this, especially since they have that fire giant buff. They're trying to push back as best they can, but BLG's just running around taking all of the towers. Here they go. They're going to take down this last tower. That Odin attack speed buff going down. The tower is going to go down short very quickly there. Bam! Three towers down, BLG leading it in goal by 3k and one kill. Can they capitalize this? Will BLG, BLG be able to pull this off for a victory and first place finish? And finally, after so many weeks of trying, they might be able to do it. I'm so excited. I cannot explain this. Very intense. Yes, I am number one unbiased. <laughs> I am so biased right now. I really want to see them win. I'm, I mean, it's an extremely good game. I'll be happy with whoever wins it. But BLG trying their damnedest to win this so they are going to go back buy up nurse their advantage it seems build up a little bit more finish off their uh, gem of isolation which will really help slow them down I'm kind of looking at nothing here ESG kind of looks like they're wandering a little bit like kind of in a what to do state while BLG is trying to stay grouped up which is what they need to do I know right go go BLG and do it Whew. ESG trying to get there, trying to not let that gold buff, or not that gold buff, the uh, the gold difference mean too much because they're out trying to get buffs and do different things while BLG is staying pretty grouped up. This could really be a big hit if they can capitalize on them splitting up so hard. If they can get that monkey down, this will be a major difference. Nope, they will not be able to chase that monkey there, just pushing their lanes as fast as they can, getting some health buffs, getting their own buffs before they get ready for an engagement. Odin taking that buff. The gearing up is uh, the fire giant about to pop soon? I don't think it's quite that soon. I thought they just got it not too long ago. Ooh, here they go. If they can get this lobster, is the Odin ultimate going to go down? Yes, they catch lobster in there, but Monkey throws down his ultimate. Aegis is popped by Ra. Gets a shot off on Yuli, but it will not happen. And here they go. They push them back successfully. Fire Giant, is he back up? Yes, he is. BLG is going to roll on in there, try and get that as fast as they can, taking out the the wards. If they can get this Fire Giant, this may be it. Hopefully they can get it. Oh, it's so close to getting the Fire Giant while three of them are getting it, while two of them are defending outside. Two of the ones that are healing, doing the best they can. Oh, that Spoo runs in there, jumps in, not doing a whole lot of damage. Smex ultimate goat, not Smex ult, the Cupid ultimate going down. Can they capitalize? Can they get this Fire Giant? If they can get it, Oh, yes! BLG gets the Fire Giant there. Turns around and starts hitting that Honey Badger for as much as he can. Smek goes down. Not the best thing they want to do. Sayo going down. What can they do about this? Keep going, guys. You can do it. 
Oh my god, so much! Oh, the raw going down! Zylea's a double kill, they get Honey Badger! Can they finally get those other three? Oh! Ooh, so much in action! Heavenly Agility coming out, they're gonna go after Spoo! Oh, Bastet jumps away! Oh, my hands are tingling, I don't know why. It's actually kind of a little unnerving, it's like I'm getting a little dehydrated from talking so much, which could very well be the case. Two down for ESG, while well, two down for BLG. Was it, let's see, who has the Heart Seekers on their team? We got the Cupid has a Heart Seeker and the Bastet. They may be able to get up their Heart Seekers now because neither one of them has gone down quite yet. Will BLG be able to capitalize on this Gold Harpy? Looks like they're waiting for it to come back a little farther. And then they're going to attack it themselves, get it down real fast, and expand their lead even more if they can. Yes, they do. That objective is now theirs. What can ESG do? What can ESG do? Oh, this is so and very intense. You can only imagine what is going on. That Bakasura Fatalis is definitely the game changer here. Fatalis for the win. It's that right click. <laughs> wow. The excitement here is just undaunting. And this isn't really good right now. Oh, my hands are not liking me. I need to get water. ESG going to try and push their lane back up, but they have no towers left. Any creeps that go up there, they're just going to be riding up against Phoenixes. This is craziness. They don't want to get caught out by the three of them. If they can... Don't fall here. If they get caught out like this, it can be really bad. Although there is four ESG versus three BLGs. Yuli looking like he wants to start something. Dodging that Bastet Claw, barely. Oh, so much intensity. Vamana kind of over there by himself. If they can engage now, they can really take capitalize the fact that Vamana's not there. It's still three on four, but who's missing? There's Hell. Now it's five on four. Let's get this going. Push down that Phoenix. Ooh, so much intensity. They're going to wait for Creep Wave here. Vamana did go back, so it is... Coming down to it. Zylea definitely showing him what is going on here. Yuli being the only one with the lowest level here, being level 17. While the entire... Ooh, so much intense. I'm trying to pay attention. Too many things. What can they do? Attack speed buff going down. Are they going to jump in? No. Odin taking a lot of hits from that Phoenix. When is the Odin ultimate going down? There is a... Monkey ult, Vamana ult, they might be able to take Sayo. He does throw down his Aegis to stay alive. Will he make it out? Yes, he throws down a heal. Ooh, so many people not dying. Wow, this is so hard to call because everybody's everywhere and nobody's dying. Wow, what an intense matchup. This is just like intense pro play here. Can they group up and heal to deal with it? Yes, there's another heal that puts them all at least up to half health. They are going to go back in, see if they can not have to deal with the Phoenix. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. Such intense play. Oh. Wow, let me catch my breath here for a second. Get a little sip of beverage. That honey badger about to go down. If they can force him back, maybe they can take this phoenix. Looks like they are going to work on taking this phoenix. Can they? Yes, they will get the phoenix down. Uh, Ross shooting out that ult, almost catching Zylea. Not quite getting him. They will take their advantage with that Phoenix and fall back and preferably getting ready for a Fire Giant because the buff has now run out. It should be coming up shortly. Smek is going back probably to buy as they almost land that beam on him. Let's see what happens over here at Fire Giant. ESG following on their heels. Looks like BLG is just going to have to run on out and kind of wait in the winds to see what happens. Mm-mm-mm. Ooh, such an intense match. Fire Giant not quite up yet. Uh. Gonna go back, restock, rebuy, just generally recharge, take a deep breath, and come back in. BLG leading 4K gold ahead, one kill ahead, and they have more towers down because BLG still has three towers up. This is not looking good. They even have one Phoenix down. This is not looking good for ESG, looking extremely good for BLG. 
I'm really hoping they can pull it off. Of course, I am super biased. They are now going in for that fire giant. If they can land this, I think they can secure the win. Hell now going in there. It's going to be Hell and Rastarian kind of dancing around outside. They're going to get it down to short order. BLG gets the fire giant. They're going to take that and they're going to run. They're going to run it right down the middle where there is no Phoenix. Forcing them to engage in an inopportune position because they will not have any towers to help them deal with that. Also going to be pushing up these creep wave. Are they going to go and try and take out this left Phoenix? They're going to push up all of their creep waves to try and get that as far up as they can. Right lane is a little bit behind, so they're not even going to worry about that. Bakasur going in here to eat, 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 and feast. Run in there, kill, push. Faster, faster, faster. Can they get this, this Phoenix down before ESG gets over there? No, Sayo better be careful. He's getting a little too ahead of himself. Trying to land any kind of pain he can, and here comes everybody else. Creep wave following shortly there behind. If they can get two Phoenixes down, this is going to be really, really bad for ESG. There goes the stun. Try Ooh, they do hit the stun box, but nothing was in it. Trying to get what they can. Trying to get them to jump out. They are forced to try and kill these creeps as best they can, but they all have to be bunched up there. Landing it perfect for Agni ults. He's just laying in the pain. Go get the Phoenix. They can take this Phoenix down really quickly. What can ESG do? They're going to have two lanes of creeps coming in for this Minotaur. I think this is it. They're going to run over here, kill this creep right real quick, get the other creeps because now the fire creeps are here. Are they going to run over and take down that? No, they can't take that Phoenix. Yes, they can take down that Phoenix because they have all those towers down. How is this for Spoo jumping out into the middle of it and then jumping back? Yuli getting a little dicey there, killing that middle Phoenix again. Oh, they're going to go right over to right Phoenix because they're going to have to deal with all these fire creeps going after their Minotaur. Minotaur under attack. Only a few of them can come and try and deal with this. BLG looks like they're going to pull this off. And this will be so exciting. Oh my god, BLG brings it in there. Going after. Go after the Minotaur. Get it, get it, get it. Ultimate's coming down from everyone. Cupid's ult goes down. Hyrock goes down. Zylee gets the slay. 9 to 7. Yes! BLG wins it! Woohoo! Such an intense game! <laughs> oh my god! Yay! Oh yes! BLG comes away! 2 to 1 in the finals to win it for the ESG European! Yes! So much is action. I am sorry. I'm so biased right now. <laughs> but I am Demon Machine from Borderland Gaming, which we just took first place in the European Finals. Yes, finally BLG gets the first place prize. They're so happy, I am sure. Man, I can't even begin to just... That. I really believe that it was those Heartseekers. We had the Heartseeker on the Bastet and the Heartseeker on Cupid. And after they got killed, they didn't have the damage output they needed. Oh, not to mention that Vitalis with the Bakasura and Odin combo. Whoa. Woo, so much. Goal! Yes, I agree. Thank you guys so much for watching. BLG finally pulls it off. I'm so happy for them. I'm so proud of them. Good job, guys. Woo. Thank you so much. I'm going to stop this recording. That was the finals for the ESN Nor or European tournament. BLG comes out first. ESG comes out second. And I don't know who comes out third. Let me find out real fast. Who came in third? I do believe it was. Nope, wrong bracket. Oh, my hand's not working like it should. Mm -hmm. Third place match. Um, Looks like they haven't played it yet. Or they haven't updated it yet. But it is between High Highcon. Oh, oh it's going to be ESG versus, I think, Highcon. Four third. No, not ESG. What am I talking about? I'm a retard. Hycon versus Jinx for third. Woo! So excited. Thank you guys for watching.